Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing with the, the VFX core skills for beginners. In our previous tutorials, we kind of went through a lot of um, sort of the pipeline and some more of the theories behind stuff, and some of the sort of preparation before planning your VFX shot. Um, in this one, I was going to go and go through all the data acquisition side first, but then thinking about it, it's... Um, it would just be me talking about it and not seeing how it's processed. So it's, it's easier for you to sort of see as I'm processing all the data. And then I can just talk through how I, I collected all this uh, to their sort of respected areas. And, and you'll just get such a deeper understanding of it. And it'll just be, you'll understand it a lot easier. And you, you probably won't have as many questions because you'll just see it instead of just, it's easier to see it when it's being done, right? So um, we'll do that as we're sort of processing it after the data ingest. So in this tutorial, we're going to start ingesting the footage and putting it into our sort of folders, uh, the, the sort of the data housekeeping. So it's all nice and tidy, and we can imagine that it's kind of how it's in a uh, sort of a, a big company, but it will be much more complicated that we're just going to do a basic sort of setup for your home needs, basically. So... Yeah, so make sure you download the footage and the data because we're going to start organizing it into our files and getting it ready to be transcoded into the next one, I think. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the previous tutorials. Um, I'm going to try and do this for everyone now. So, yeah, it's been positive feedback so far. No one's uh, called the police on my face. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm still going to do that. So, um, yeah, cool. That was awkward. Let's uh, get going. Cool, so hopefully you've uh, downloaded the, the package. It should be under rushes. Um, it'll probably be in a, a zip because it's absolutely massive, uh, like everything else, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so if you just open it up, you'll see a BM, which is Blackmagic, and it says well, it is just the footage from Blackmagic. If we open it up, and there will be a, a sort of a, a time-coded and shot number uh, file as well, which is from the metadata on the camera which I never really ever do, so it's probably always wrong. And in there, we can see that we've got all our DNG files. And this is the, probably the first time that I've been giving you DNG files, because on the previous ones, I've just given you already pre-transcoded uh, footage to linear. So we'll go through and uh, transcode all these and get them in a nicer file name as well. So now in this one, you have obviously got our Canon 5D. And this should have all the data that I took on set for this uh, sort of a uh, little mini project. So as it loads, it will probably give you a good idea of my sort of methodology behind actually getting some of the data. So, and instead of just going through all the data, like I said before, instead of going through all the data acquisition just verbally, as we go through all these steps, you'll, you'll get a really good understanding of it anyway, just by not actually physically learning it just by seeing the process but it's a, it's a much easier way to understand it to see it happening instead of just talking about it so you can sort of see uh after all the filming basically i do all the data so that the first thing or actually the first thing i think i did was take a hdri first then i did all the filming because you'll notice if i scrub down you'll actually see so you'll see that these are the hdri they're the bracketed images uh, on the 8mm lens to get the light data. Then you'll see that this is all the photogrammetry images. And like I say, when like I could tell you everything that I did here, but just by looking, looking through these images, you can see that I just went around the tree and took loads of photos and made sure they overlapped. And when when you sort of do your sort of scans and your photogrammetry, you kind of it depends on what you really want to use it for. So if you're just using it for layout and doing match move, you don't have to take this many. You don't. You probably only need like maybe one fifth of this amount to get a really good scan. But the reason why I have so many is that I always scan because I want to. I scan it as if I want to make an asset from it as well. So it's it's useful further. It's not just useful for that one project. Say I might need some tree in another project or something, and I know that I've already gone out and scanned this. 
So it's kind of one of those things that you can you can go out and just get the data for the project you need, or you can have a, a bit more sort of forethought if you've got time. That is, and um, get scans for assets because it's always the best. It's always the best. Um, option if you can if you have time because it's it's more useful for you it's not just something you throw away after a project you can just keep it and do something different with it so you can see that's why i've gone so these sort of really far out ones would just be like the layout sort of just get like a, a good scan maybe not probably could use it for an asset still really but um let's say if we wanted it as a really good asset we'd still have to like come in closer to get all that sort of nice texture and detail and yeah i've been going on for that for a while so and you can see at the end I've got my color chart. And then after that you'll see that I've got another set of bracketed images. So this is after I finish filming or as close to as finishing filming. So I've got the first one where I've turned up and got the first, effectively first film light. They're probably, if if it's not changing that much, it's, it's kind of a safety thing because they'll probably be almost the same. But it's just nice to have more than none. So that's the, as I turn up, filming then when I finish filming HDRI. And then after I've done the HDRI, uh, do all the, I don't know why they're in a funny order, I don't know, but maybe it's because of the bracketing. And there'll be a, a, a color chart in here somewhere, you just can't quite see it. Then at the end, just got color charts and just some really basic sort of reference textures. More for like if you want to go further with the project because ideally you'd want to our sort of the whole this is a very quick sort of um tutorial series and we don't we, ideally if it was a project based you'd you'd build the bird box and texture uh, model it then you do all the smaller bits as well to make it fit in plate like little twigs maybe uh leaves on top just more stuff that will make it integrate to plate but that's something you can do after if you want i just don't want to spend ages and ages making twigs and leaves and branches and moss, whereas you'll probably just want to get it get through this. But anyway, so that's all our data. So yeah, hopefully uh, you can download that. I think it's, yeah, it's quite a bit, but um, on each step I'll, I'll upload my version so you don't have to, if you can't download it or if it's too much, I can, uh, I can upload a, a low res version. Cool. So, yeah, I've talked about that. Um, so we've got our data. It's in our rushes. So the first thing we'll do is um, it's probably not the most interesting tutorial, but this is just the sort of workflow I go through. And it's just a very small thing that can keep it nice and organized. So you've downloaded your rushes or whatever uh, your project. I'm just going to make a new folder. And I'm going to rename it. Call it IO or OI. No, we're just reading it. IO. Call it for IO is uh, like in out. So it's where everything goes in. And we'll just, if you're doing multiple projects, we'll just do a new one and we'll just call this uh, bird box. So we've got our in out and our bird box. Very simple. So now we're just going to make a uh, elements folder. And our elements will be our footage. Then what we will do is make another one and we'll just call this onset. Like this, these can be called anything you want. Um, it's just so you can get it easily organized and so because you, you can do crazy file paths and all that and do like files and files but let's just keep it simple um because we'll still be processing it so i'm just going to go into onset and go folder lighting and i'm going to move on to photo um, tree and general ref so three folders, and you can guess HDRI is going to go in here. So I'm just going to go new folder HDRI, and then in here we will do our light 
ref, which I forgot it's not in that folder, but it will be when you download it. So we've got our HDR and our light ref. Cool, so we've got light, foreground tree, and ref. Cool, so the first thing we'll just do is uh, go to our brushes. And we can just copy this. Like, you can do this any way you want, really, but, um... And we want to make sure that this is just cool. Let's call this client. Because it's our client... Ooh, I can't spell. You don't have to. Um, you can call it raw. You just don't want it to be mixed up with, um your actual plate. So we're going to make another folder called BG01, which will be our our working plate. So I'm just going to paste that into there. Cool. So we've just got our client footage and other companies will call it other things and put it in different places, but we're just going to keep it simple. Um, so we know that's our raw folder with all our raw data. Then when we start using shot uh, plates for shots, this is where we'll transcode our footage to, and that's where we'll use all our stuff. Oh, and we'll also, let's do EL01. So we've got our VG01 for our plate and element 01, which will be for our lighting reference. And I think we're pretty much So we can just copy this across. Like you obviously you'll you'll just copy it straight in there. This won't exist. You'll just open it up and put it in your uh, folders. So what have we got here? On set. In fact, actually, what have I done? I need to get to my. So I'm going to, because when you copy all these. You want to make sure that you copy them all as a one. Don't break them up, otherwise you might break the bracketing in them. Then it's a bit of a nightmare to fix. So make sure you select all of them. So I'm just going to copy that. On set, lighting, HDRI. I'll just call this one start. I'm just going to paste it into here. Because that was the one I took when I started. And then we'll just scroll down to the one to the end. We'll copy that. And you can call these anything you want, really. In reality, you want to just call it anything that makes sense to you. Um, and just, it's just good practice to be uh, organized, right? So, um, yeah, it's it's all good. So we're just going to copy all of these, even though like oof, we don't have to copy all of them. That's that's obviously something that's slipped through. That's a bit overexposed. So you can probably just delete that. It doesn't look like we need it. And I'm just going to copy all these. I know this is probably um, quite a boring tutorial, um, so I'll probably release another one after this as well. Instead of so, I try to do three a week, so I might try and do four a week for you guys because obviously this is a lot of you're getting a lot of prep work, but not actually any of the the meat of the actual stuff. So at least you'll have something to do over the weekend, or because basically all. All the tutorials on this are already on my channel, but I think I was a bit rushed and I, I rushed into it and uh, it became a little bit unorganized, but um, hopefully this should be a more structured way if you guys are getting through little projects. Of course, we've covered the photogrammetry and let's just copy all this into our reference. So this has been probably not a very 
interesting tutorial, but it's just something, it's just a step that um, I go through. Um, so we've got our rushes here, and let's hope that they're the same size. So we've got a bird box and our elements. So that's where we've put our black magic folder, then we'll do our uh, lighting reference and any other reference into there, and then our plate. And we've got our onset, we've got our lighting, HDRI start and end, and our light ref, which I'll need to quickly copy over. And yeah, so this is pretty much it for this tutorial. It's not like a, a huge one, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just very, just keeping stuff a little bit organized. I know it's not been super fascinating, but it, it's, it, it should be hopefully a quick, interesting one for you. So yeah, well, I'll, I'll do the next one as well. So you're just not left with this over the weekend, which would be quite boring. Yeah, anyway, but um, if you've enjoyed this uh, probably quite boring tutorial, um, hit that like button and uh, subscribe for more like this.